Hello, Gemini viewers. Last reading I did for you, I was getting that you have different romance languages with someone that you're connected to. And you two really need to try to meet halfway. Um, and there's an old karmic connection that also needs to come to end. So it's like you guys are on the same page. Like you both want love, but you're both just miscommunicating is what I feel. Like there's different romance languages. So romance languages would be like, like a romance language is, uh, for example, some people show their love through physical touch. Some people show their, their love through uh, verbal expression. Some people show their love through uh, like buying you things. Um, you know, there's, there's numerous ways. There's, you know, a lot of different uh, love languages. So it's like you guys are both trying to show affection is what I feel, but you're both just kind of on different pages. It's like you feel like they're rejecting you and they feel like you're rejecting them kind of energy is what I picked up on the last reading. Where it's like you guys really are on the same page, but there's just some kind of miscommunication there. And you guys really need to find that balance and meet halfway. But let's see what the cards want to say right now. Let's see what's going on. Justice. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. There's going to be some kind of justice for a situation that... Um, stressed you out so this could be finances this could be for some of you someone exploited you financially you you gave away too much of your money and it left you in this energy um for others i could just see this as you giving more than you're receiving just with uh with affection with love with those kind of things like maybe you just gave a lot to people and you didn't get a lot in return and it left you, you know, anxious, alone, depressed, confused, maybe with insomnia. You know, this is like Nine of Swords, like sleepless nights kind of energy. But I feel like you have justice coming in. So maybe you, you did have these one-sided relationships or maybe someone did financially exploit you in the past. But you have some kind of justice coming in. I feel like this could also be a court situation going in your favor as well, just for a couple of you. Not for all of you, but for a couple of you. I feel like there just hasn't been an equal give and take. So I think that there's some kind of justice coming in here. Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles. The Magician. That's a good card. The Two of Wands. Okay. I almost feel like for some of you, you tried, I think that you're going to reach some kind of conclusion or epiphany with this person. Um, there's two people that I channeled. So there was, there was a karmic that you need to let go of, but then there was also, um, someone that was much healthier for you that I, that I channeled. And it feels like for one of them, there's just that energy of miscommunication. Like we were, like we were talking about, like you feel rejected by them or they feel rejected by you. Like there's miscommunication there because of the different love languages there's different romance languages and I feel like there's going to be some kind of shift with that energy from what the cards are telling me because two of pentacles it's like finding a balance it's finding a balance and you have the justice card here and you have the magician so it's almost like like one of you is in this magician energy where you're taking back your power you're taking that control you're you're manifesting this you're manifesting clarity some of you might be into witchcraft and you might be doing clarity spells and truth spells and trying to get to the bottom of this and figure out what this person feels or what they think and i think you're gonna get a tr the truth from it but I, th I think it's gonna be positive i do i think this is something that you're gonna it's like you need this balance you need to kind of you know have it have this good balance and then you know see things in like a long-term view with the two of wands there it's like you know being practical being logical finding that balance i think i just think that there's someone it's like there's someone who really does love you but you feel like they rejected you and they feel the same like sometimes i think that it's like maybe you message them or you talk like single or in a relationship i just feel like when you guys talk sometimes it's like they get defensive or they get like angry or something and they're and you're like why are you like why are you mad why are you upset and it's like they're in their head they're thinking that you rejected them when you didn't and there might be like mental illness here as well like you know full disclaimer i'm not equipped to diagnose any mental illness 
Um, so I don't know what it would be, but some of them are just really in their head about things. So sometimes they overanalyze and misinterpret things that they they need to just kind of get out of their head a little bit. Sometimes they kind of overdo it with that, I feel. Like they just overthink things and they create issues that aren't actually there. But some someone here is just very sensitive is what I feel. Or maybe, maybe both of you are sensitive and you guys kind of mirror each other's energy in that sense. And it just feels like someone ends up feeling rejected when... You know that's that's not the the case. That's just there's just some kind of weird miscommunication here, or it's like say someone like keeps buying you things because they love you, and you're like, well, that's great, but I really just want you to cuddle with me. But that's not their love language. You know what I mean? It's like they are showing you that they love you when they do those things, or vice versa. Maybe like your love language is, you know, having someone buy you things. Um, and you know the fact that they're not doing it is like you feel like well do they not care it's like it's there there is that love there but you guys are just expressing it in different ways and for some reason i feel like a defensive energy like someone feels rejected and gets defensive but like that love is there it's like they want to communicate they do I feel like this is someone that is trying to communicate with you you know Angel the Dylan new in this deck is um, about the light after a period of darkness, Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. The energy I get here is that someone misunderstood you and they're committed to learning about you. Because Eight of Pentacles, this is like being someone's muse, but it's also like it's study, it's knowledge. You see this book that this, this girl is sitting on. It's almost like a fairy kind of energy. It's like almost looks like she has wings in the background almost it's like there's this kind of smoky mist knight of swords is about you know fearlessness uh promises loyalty vows and it's like this person is like making these male or female is making these promises to you making this commitment to you i think that you guys are going to have some kind of epiphanies in this relationship i think some of you are already together some of you this is someone that you're with butterflies might be significant to you but I just feel like there's some kind of shift here where it's like you guys misunderstood each other for a long time. You both hurt each other's feelings, even though you both ultimately just wanted love. You both wanted the same thing. You both wanted that connection with each other. But the, the different love languages just kind of created this issue where it's like this, this miscommunication where it's like they got, it's like you guys triggered each other. Like when they would get defensive you like they would get defensive because they were hurt and then you'd be hurt because you didn't understand why they were defensive or vice versa it was like this this ongoing cycle and i think someone's coming to these epiphanies and these conclusions like like someone's learning to communicate differently basically you know and it feels like It just feels like someone's almost like someone's studying you, like someone's taking a step back and finally saying to themselves, like, hey, maybe I misunderstood this person. Maybe they weren't rejecting me. Maybe maybe we are on the same page after all. It's like this person has a lot of insecurities that kind of t get the best of them sometimes. This person might need some um, maybe like counseling or something of that sort, too, because it seems like their insecurities are kind of out of control which makes it hard for you because, you know, you can only do so much to reassure this person. But Eight of Pentacles here, it's like, they're like, someone's studying you. Someone's like, they want to know you. They want to figure you out and they feel like you're a mystery to them. And it's almost like it's frustrating for them because they just, usually they understand everybody and they just don't understand you. They, they feel like you're just very hard to grasp. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands. They want that peaceful time, these peaceful times with you, though. They want this peace and stability in this relationship. If there's been arguments or fights or miscommunication or silence between you two, it's like they want to clear that up. They want to understand you. They want to study you. They feel like they've been fighting for this for a long time, like both of you have. Seven of Pentacles, it's like this is like patience, perseverance, long term. And so they want, they still want to get to these, this time, this, uh, you know, Four of Wands, like this peaceful outcome with you. Strength. 
the Hierophant. Yeah, they're used to doing things like in a traditional way. Emperor, yeah, they're used to doing things in a very traditional way, like my way or the highway. This could be someone who's very, um, I don't want to say macho, but almost like someone who's very, like, prideful. Like, they won't admit when they're wrong. They won't allow room for failure in their life. Like, they're kind of hard on themselves and kind of hard on the people around them sometimes. It's like they have a very strict set way of doing things, of doing things by the book, doing things by, like, a strict moral code kind of energy, kind of like a dominant energy. Like, they think that's what their strength is, is, you know, like, they've been kind of just stuck to this certain uh, perspective, like, my way or the highway kind of perspective. Like, um, how do I explain that energy? Like, they feel like that's just where their strength lies, basically. There's, like, this lion energy, too. Could be a Leo as well that you might be dealing with or someone that at least has some Leo in their chart, possibly. It just feels like someone that's been very set in their ways, someone who has this armor around them, someone who can get very defensive, someone who's always just quick to quick to make assumptions. So it could be someone with some mental instability, like because it almost seems like trauma based, where it's like they're afraid of getting hurt or they're afraid of like maybe maybe there's like trauma there where someone really betrayed them to the point that they were actually physically in danger. And so maybe they're just very quick to like be on guard and kind of, you know, analyze what people say and put words in people's mouths, if that, if that makes sense. Like it's frustrating, don't get me wrong. I can see how that'd be frustrating. And this person probably should get some kind of counseling or something to help them work through this. But, um, and I'm not a licensed therapist or anything. So that's, you know, full disclaimer, you know, I'm not responsible for what you do or don't do as a result of the readings, but it just feels like they've been very strict in this energy. And it seems like someone's finally breaking down. Someone's having a perspective shift. Maybe they've possibly come to come face to face with the potential of losing you. So they're being forced to finally let this armor down and stop being so stubborn and so stuck in their ways and so prideful. You know, their intuition is pushing them to give into their passion, to make a bold, courageous move, to, to chase you, to show you that they love you. Um, this is someone that seems like they hide their feelings a lot. Yeah, it could be a Leo because I'm getting fire sign energy here. Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, just someone who's kind of stubborn, someone who's been in stagnant energy for a while or focused on finances primarily for a while, and it's like time for them to open up to love. I feel like they are, though. I feel like they, like I said, I think they want to study you. I think that something's happening. I feel like they're very prideful and very stuck in their ways, and they've been very stagnant for a long time and kind of just very defensive, and I think something's shifted or they've had an epiphany or you've had an epiphany maybe something that you said to them got stuck in their head and they're thinking about it now I just feel like there's some kind of energy shift here where maybe they know that they're going to lose you if they don't come for it now so maybe that's what it is they're like okay let's see if we're on the same page like they're taking a step back like they're finally starting to get out of their head um or this could be someone that just started going to counseling and maybe it's starting to work for them you know that's the kind of energy I get here so I would say, I mean, this person is just so prideful, so like, don't let them drag you down. But if you find yourself in this vicious cycle where you guys are miscommunicating, then step back and you both need to kind of meet halfway and learn to communicate better and, and try to try to see their perspective. It's, it's difficult because I feel like sometimes this person is just so insecure that they'll say something casual and they'll, they'll make it out to be something it's not. Like, you might say, like, oh, that actor is really cute. And they're like, oh, so you don't think I'm cute? Like, that kind of energy. Like, or they, they think that in their head. Like, they compare themselves to others. Like, they're constantly, like, in this competitive energy is kind of what I feel. Like, a very, just just not a relaxed energy at all. But I feel like something shifted in their life. Now, that could be something, some major family drama or some event. Could be just, you know, you're finally getting through to them. And there's maybe this fear of losing you, like maybe you're not talking to them as much, so they kind of realize like they can either keep being this stubborn, prideful, closed off person, or they can open their heart to love, but they can't have both. 
So a lot of them, even though they're not used to it, a lot of them are choosing to open their heart to love, but we'll, we'll see how this story plays out. Um, and if you guys want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is below in the description box. And um, please, you know, subscribe if it resonates. And any donations are appreciated too. Thank you guys for watching.